In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the E6B flight computer to calculate the density altitude. The first thing we're going to need is the temperature of the air at the altitude you're flying. So all you have to do there is look at the outside air temperature gauge and record the value in degrees Celsius. The next thing you're going to need is going to be the pressure altitude. Now the pressure altitude is the altitude that you would measure when the altimeter is set to 290.92. So all you have to do is first write down the current barometric pressure value in your altimeter, then reset the altimeter to 2992, record the altitude that you measure once you do that, and then set it back to the barometric pressure that you had originally written down. You now have the pressure altitude and the corresponding temperature. So in the case of a 172, Let's assume that we're flying at around 5,000 feet and it's a hot day and the outside air temperature is plus 40 degrees Celsius. So the first thing we'll look at is the section of the flight computer which says for true altitude airspeed and density altitude. So on the inner ring we have our altitude and on this outer ring we have our outside air temperature. And keep in mind this is pressure altitude. So we're going to line up our pressure altitude, which we're going to measure as 5,000 feet when we set it to 29.9 or 2, and we're going to line that up with plus 40 degrees Celsius. So all we have to do is rotate the scale until 5,000 is lined up with 10, 20, 30, and 40. So now we have 5,000 feet pressure altitude lined up with 40 degrees Celsius. All you have to do is look at the density altitude window and you'll see that the density altitude is almost 9,000 feet. So that's almost twice the density altitude as compared to the measured pressure altitude when we set it to 29.9 or 2. And it's that simple.